All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top 10 Batman comic books in my collection. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? I'm Steve from Burke Family 50 for Comics. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 Batman comic books in my collection. Before we do that, though, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that. So I'm a pretty big DC and Batman uh, comic book collector, and I decided to go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and make a top 10 video of the books in my collection. So let's go and kick things off with number 10. It is Batman 655. As you can see, I don't currently have the book in my possession right now. It's actually at CGC. I'm hoping for a 9496. Actually, I'm hoping for a 98. I'll be honest. I sent it in for a pre-screen uh, for a 9.8 submission. I really think it's got a chance to come back as a 9.8. If it gets rejected and it comes back, I'll probably send it again because um, I think it's a 9698 candidate. Uh, so again, here at number 10, we got uh, Batman 655, the first appearance of Damian Wayne. This is actually the variant. Coming in at number nine on our list, we actually have Batman 386, the first appearance of Black Mask in a CGC 9.2. This is actually a really fun read as well. I actually read this book before I sent it in. And honestly, it came back a very disappointing 9.2. There's only one spine tick on the entire book, um, but it's a pretty decent sized one um, on his hat. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but came back a 9.2. I might crack it, press it, and regrade it, um, but there's really not that much difference between a 9.2 and a 9.6. There's a pretty big difference, obviously, in a 9.8 for this book, but I just love the book, and I love having it in my collection. So again, here at number nine, we got Batman 386, the first appearance of the Black Mask. Coming in at number eight on my list, I actually got this book out of a bin for cover price, um, and I did not press it whatsoever. Just sent it off to CGC, and it came back in 9.8. This is Batman issue number one for the New 52. Um, this is the start of the Court of Owls storyline, though they do not actually say them in this book. Um, it's a great, great, great um, run and series by uh, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Love this book. Love the story. Awesome stuff. And it came back in 9.8. Again here, number eight, Batman number one from the new 52. All right, coming in at number seven. Um, it is not actually a Batman book, but it's a Batman villain. And I'll explain here. This is Teen Titans issue 12, the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs, which is actually right up here on the cover um came back in 9.6 i actually got this book for 50 cents out of a bin at vintage stock i ate okayed it to my friend uh carlito not carlito sorry d -Rup comics didn't realize he already had a copy he sent both of them to cgc he both came back in 9.6 he basically a okayed me back um the copy that i gave him so both have 9.6s so again here at number seven we get the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs in Teen Titans issue 12. Pretty awesome book. Great story as well, obviously. Coming in at number six, speaking of great stories, this is my all-time favorite Batman story, or at least the start of the story. This is Batman issue 404, the first book in the year one storyline by Frank Miller and David Muzzicelli. Uh, it goes from 404 to 407, came back in 9.8. Um, great book. Not the best cover, but just an overall amazing storyline. And if you haven't read Batman Year One, like I said, it is my absolute favorite Batman story of all time. It's actually a lot of people's favorite Batman stories too. Came back a crispy 9.8. Super happy with it. Again, this is number six on my top 10 list of comic books in my, Batman comic books in my collection. Coming in at number five, we are at the top five. This is, if we're talking about single issue Batman comics in terms of like Batman stories in a single book, this probably takes a cake. This is Batman the Killing Joke, um, first print in a 9.8. Um, absolutely gorgeous cover. This is a honestly a classic cover in the back is as well. Um, great, great, great story. Um, we get an origin to the Joker. Um, just an overall amazing book, um, and I'm super happy to get this book in a uh, first print 9.8. This is uh, number five on my top 10 Batman comics in my collection. Got four books left. Um, 
and I feel like the rest are really, really nice as well. All of them are really, really good, obviously. But this one in particular, I've been trying to get for a long time, and I actually bought it as a comic lot on eBay a couple years ago. And I got it pressed and cleaned, um, and then I got it signed by the artist. This is Batman 635, the first appearance of Jason Todd as Red Hood. Signed by the artist Doug Minky right there, and it came back in 9.6. Um, I've always thought about re like submitting it and getting it cracked, pressed, and regraded at CGC, hoping for a 9.8, but I'm scared it might come back lower, even though I feel like it's a little undergraded as a 9.6. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this book. Would you resubmit it if you think it could be a 9.8, or would you just leave it as a 9.6? I don't know, but it's number four on my list, Batman 635, the first appearance of Jason Todd as Red Hood, signed by the artist Doug Menke. Got three books left um, and a couple first appearances uh, to continue this streak here in the top four. All right, uh, this is probably one of my favorite um, Silver Age books in my collection. This is Batman number 189, the first Silver Age Scarecrow. I love the Scarecrow on the Batman animated series TV show as a kid. Um, and this is an overall just great, great cover. And we got this for a great price. I got it for like $48 shipped a couple years ago on a YouTube auction over on Big Will Comics um, here on YouTube. And uh, got it pressed, uh, cleaned, and sent it out to CGC, came back 4.0. I'm like less than $100 into this book, and I know it's going for a couple hundred dollars more than that. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good in this book. Love the villain, love this book. It's a number three in my list, Batman number 189, the first appearance for Silver Age appearance, I should say, of The Scarecrow. All right, uh, these next two books I actually got in 2021. This book, I was not actually planning to get. I was actually on Heritage Auctions trying to get another book, a Flash book, because I'm a big DC fan. And uh, this came up, and it was for a great price. Uh, and then the buyer's premium taxes and shipping hit me, and it came to not be the best price but it's a book that's only going up in value and it's a great key book with an awesome cover and an awesome first appearance we have batman issue 232 the first appearance of Roz al ghul um he's also on the cover there and a 4.5 i would like to upgrade this at some point to six or seven um but i'm in no rush to do that um awesome book to have in my collection again i got this from heritage auctions here in 2021 last year so Number two on my list, pretty awesome book. But there's one more that's even better. It's a Batman title, um, but it is not... Um, it is... I'll, I'll explain. Okay, so this is a first appearance of a hero. Um, and uh, it's just an awesome cover. I've been wanting to get this for a long time, and I feel like there's some great spec value in this. And I just love the, the character and cover. This is Detective Comics... 359, the first appearance of Batgirl Barbara Gordon in a 5.0. I got this from mycomicshop.com and uh, I got it for, I feel like a great price, but the book um, was very, very expensive. This is the most I've ever spent on a single book. Not going to say the price, but it's an awesome, awesome book. And at some point I will submit it to CGC to get a reholder um, because I don't like the old case, obviously. But um, I don't want to let it go. I don't want it out of my possession. I just got it, I think, in October, September, October of last year. And uh, just an overall great book, great first uh, appearance, great cover as well. So that's number one on my list, uh, Batman comic books in my collection. So again, my name is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of my top 10 list. Do you have any of these? All of that and more. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, go Cats, Calabunga. And it's morphin' time. Today's video is brought to you by Comic Book Underscore Pressing on Instagram. Protect your comic book investment for as little as $12 by using Eric from Comic Book Underscore Pressing on Instagram. He can press any grade or tier of book and make sure you use my promo code Burke54 to get free shipping back to you on your first order. Again, today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram.